there, and welcome to Hammerman for today, December the 3rd. It is official. We are in the advent calendar portion of the year. Christmas is coming, I'm just saying. So, uh, as per the usual, we're kicking it off with some nice low-level bases. Shouldn't be too much problems. Uh, though, admittedly, stage 2 seemed kind of intense for normal stage 2, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Obviously, the crab has just finished, or, well, for me, it has just finished. For some other people out there, I'm sure it's still going strong. And, uh, man, I, I really <laughs> enjoyed the crab this time around. I thought it was wicked, wicked fun. And uh, I, I actually... The, just the new layout of having 40 attacks flat all oh, makes such a huge difference. Uh, this crab, the, the proto crab, I was able to pull in uh, stage 64. I, I kind of stopped uh, because I ran out of time. I, I woke up a little late this morning. I was hoping to do a few last attacks, but uh, still high enough to put me in the top three. So that was exciting for New Zealand. Nothing, nothing crazy like China or the States where apparently to be in the top like 100, you've got to be over stage like 90. Um, but that's all right, that's just fine because uh, I'm not too worried. As long as I get my cool little trophy, I, I really, that's all I want out of it. And uh, also it was kind of, kind of fun because I was able to do most of the crab while I was doing other things and it just, they worked out really nice, which is why of course, unfortunately, no more crab vids because I just, it takes so much time and I, I can't do that to myself or anyone around me because then I have to sleep for three days straight. And anyways, um, but yep, did the crab. I was lucky enough to figure out actually by fluke that like the laser trons were the way to do this crab. So when the sh the trader showed up, I bought a full whack of laser trons because I was like, all right, I want to save my rainmakers for like at the very end and the critters are kind of useless so I'm gonna have to buy the laser trons and, and I just wanted to use the laser trons to you know clear NPC bases and player bases and things like that and I was like all right cool so when the crab finally popped up on my map I was like well I got laser trons loaded and I'm, I'm just gonna roll with this and I started going through and blasting things with uh, I think I was using 341 so three three boats of tanks, four boats of laser trons, and then one boat of medics. Basically doing my regular Grank layout, only instead of Grens, I had laser trons. And they were just ripping things apart. So I, I was like, I'm just gonna kinda like coast with this and I'm gonna go through. And I, I was checking things out and apparently like, yeah, the, the laser trons were the way to go through this crap. I don't know if anyone had the Rainmakers out there, but I feel like the Rainmakers are almost too slow. They don't have the DPS to really put it through. And they do have the added safety of not being hit by like boom cannons and stuff. But I, I man, with bullet and some laser trons backing them up and like a nice big gnarly boost, you could really do some amazing amazing things uh to this crab so hopefully you guys if you're not done um have enough attacks so you can switch over to to lasers and, and get some nice easy hits and if you are done hopefully you already knew about the laser trons being the tits and like you were able to coast through the first 60 or so levels um i i can't say coast but you know coast through the first 35 levels and then really it seemed like after 35 maybe even a little or like maybe it was early 30s like every attack seemed to start needing two hits for me and i was just like whoa uh but that that i think is just you know the nature of the beast i didn't have the dps because of the laser trons and i was like all right well whatever then i two hit everything but like everything was just a full clear and i was able to make like huge pushes through even even up around 60 i was like just barely missing the the solos and i was like all right well you know it is what it is but it allowed me to get through and get the trophy and have a good time. I really enjoyed actually having the, the proto troops because it, it it was kind of like a different 
crab. Like, it, it really did, I feel, change it up. Because normally with the crab, I'm, I'm going through with my chrism, I'm going through with granks, I'm going through with, like, tanks, smoky tanks, or smoky zooka, or, like, whatever. I'm, I'm hitting the same, like, three, four troop layouts for 99% of the hits, but having those protos and, and going through with, with laser trons and then like mixing up who I had with my laser trons, you know, whether I was bringing Zookas for extra damage at the end or heavies to absorb some damage or tanks or whatever, it, it, it was definitely a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this, this mega crab. Hope you guys did too. If, if you did or did not, please let me know down in the comments below, because I'm, I'm kind of curious what everyone thought of it. And and actually, going back to uh, Hammerman, because, you know, it's Hammerman, and um, 100%, a, a couple of people were like, nah, I think it's just been crazy lately because of the number of Grens that we've been getting on Hammerman. And you know what? Honestly, I... Uh, I, I think it's true. I don't know if necessary, like if if the Grens were included to make Hammerman harder, or if the Grens were there and it was just kind of like a a side effect that it made things much harder. But this week going through Sans Grens, no no Grens. I don't think there were Grens on any level, uh, which I I haven't seen that in like a month, maybe longer. I don't know. It's it's been a while. It's been pretty steady that we've been getting the Grens, and as you can see, I'm kind of coasting through this one, uh, as usual, without the Protos, and um, honestly, like, no Grens equals not a lot of trouble. I know earlier Stage 2 was kind of crazy. I just looked at the number of Riflemen followed up by the Zookas, and I'm like, right here you got Rifle Zooka, and like... If you're a really low level where, like, you know, stage two is supposed to be your challenge, I was like, wow, that's that's going to be just downright painful. I I almost feel bad for people down there. Now, the good news is once you get up to the higher levels, like this is, I think, stage five or six here, uh, just it's a buttload of riflemen. It, it's like the rifle swarm hammermen week. So as long as you've got a microwave or a hot pocket, Really, you should have relatively few problems. Actually, sorry, this is stage six. Uh, you, but, but you're going to have relatively few problems clearing out all of those rifles. And once those rifles are down, like in this case, you, you got a Scorcher. And in the case of stage seven, you've got like a handful of tanks. But it's with those tanks, those tanks are super, super deadly with that wall of riflemen meat in front of it because all your big like your boom cannons and stuff can't get to those tanks and can't do any damage and really for that matter neither can your your area effect damage because it's all just absorbed by the wall of pain uh now as you can see i dropped the hot pocket down on the right hand side there i did try it without the the hot pocket and i just decided you know what ah uh, I got a whole bunch of Rainmakers that I want to buy as the trader is going out tonight, so I can't blow too much gold trying to get through this stage. I, I went with the easy route, I just said, screw it, throwing down the, the prototype. Now it might be possible, because there this is really like the first couple of stages is just all Riflemen, it may 100% be possible to get through this stage without any prototypes at all if you put forth a little extra effort. And uh, if, if, you know, you're, you're looking to save some parts and you got some extra gold because of the crab making you nice and flush with all the monies, then by all means, definitely, like, this is probably a pretty good stage 7 to give it a shot at. Um, you might have to, you know, redirect troops and kind of play around with things, but it should be doable as long as you can strip the... the lower side of the the beach of the the riflemen fast enough so that your boom cannons and doom cannons can take out all of those uh all of those tanks you, you're going to be in a really good place as you can see my strat because of that hot pocket worked out really well and honestly probably just squeaked by but there's there's ways of making things happen anyways guys uh thank you for watching hopefully this has been helpful hopefully it's been entertaining and above all else, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.